Canada has won five stops. France has won three stops. And all of that comes down to this. And Liam Ozan speeds in for the first points of the game. They're on the board. And so is Canada. Plouffe gets a lay-in to go down. Limousin up top, pulls up just short. Catherine Plouffe gets it inside to Michelle, feels a defender on her back and puts in a layup. Canada now with a one point lead. Canada again won the women's series final last season, so they're trying to go back to back. It's been a few years since France has won. So either way we look at it, we will have a repeat winner for the Women's Series Final. Michelle Plouffe just short as the shot clock violation winds down. Good defense here by France. They're getting their hands in a lot of passing lanes. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Yeah, foul is on France again. Like I mentioned in the semifinals, France is very aggressive on the defensive end, and it is one of their top pluses, but can lead to some fun fouls. And they call an offensive foul there on Michelle Plou for setting that screen. Jekundade. <laughs> Hands it back off to Manet. Baseline jumper up for Jekundade. No. Good hands by Manet. Still a 2 1 lead for Canada in their semifinal game. Paige Crozon and the two pointers were raining in Mongolia, but that backdoor pass was sweet. Crozon just not able to finish. Jekundade with the reverse and one. Ties it up to a piece. Another look at it. She drives baseline, just able to keep control of the ball and kiss it up high off the glass. Ja, 
And we're back. Apologies for those technical difficulties. We're back with the women's series final score now. Looks like it is 5 3. France holding up by two. What I like about this matchup so much, as you could just see right there, is Canada really slices and dices through a lot of teams with their passing, but France is so long and able to get in those passing lanes, doesn't make it as easy for Canada. Free throw there, cuts the deficit down to one. Mane over to Guapo, goes behind the back, stops, turns, kisses it off the glass. Guapo in final form here. France up by two. Again, Guapo said this is their revenge game. Wanting to get back at Canada for getting them the past few times. Crozon's two is short as the shot clock expires. Chikundade hands it off to Limouzon. Good steal there. Michelle Plouffe not able to get a handle on it to score. Three seconds left on the shot clock. Bosch flips it up inside to Michelle Plouffe and she scores it that time. France now only up by one. Guapo for two. Oh, she wants it. Layup is good. The score is happening in a flurry. Here, France still up by two. Jekundare thought about taking the long one. And that is a turnover. Guapo thought her teammate got held, but no call. Tozon driving left, stolen by Jekundare. 
Monet driving to the middle behind the back. Pull up Jay, rims out. Guapo, another chance at it. And I think they call it a travel. Seconds on the shot clock. Michelle Plouffe decides to keep it herself. Blocked by Shekundare. Great defense. <laughs> Warning on Leticia Guapo. It's the finals. What do you expect? They're gonna fight for every call, every possession. This is for a lot of bragging rights and Casey Bosch gets up to block Jekundade. Wow. Good defensive play there by Bosch. Nice back screen. Crozon gets the lay in to go. Grant still holding on to the lead though. Monet gets it inside. <laughs> what a pass and a better finish. My goodness. Limousin sneaks in there. Slithers even to get the lay in. And France holds the lead 9 7. Improve, goes back door. Crozon gets another bucket to go. Canada not able to get over the hump. Limouzon puts on the Jets, but Crozon's there for the recovery. Good steal. France clears it. Guapo reverse lay this time. No. Oh, wow. Is that a roller rink? Because these defenders are on skates. Thanks to Limouzon. Michelle Plou finishes through the contact. 341 left on the game clock. France still up by two. Guapo straight to the rack. We're gonna get a breather. Everybody catch their breath. France leaving it all out there on the floor against Team Canada. This is for the final. Let's take a look at some of these highlights. Canada still able to get their back door, but the, the mid-range game is so beautifully on display from Limousin. Michelle Plouffe is going to do what Michelle Plouffe is going to do. And Guapo being super aggressive on the defensive end and the offensive end. Because she wants this win for her team. Throws on to check it up, up top. Wow. Oh, she can't finish the bunny. That is a good play when Lee Muzon is on her. She has a height advantage. Guapo has it up top now. She faked the two. Tried to get a pass. Manet wanted the foul and doesn't get it. They have to be careful. They already have a warning for complaining. That would be a free free throw for Canada. The score this close and France already with five fouls. that time and another foul there by France. Mm -hmm. 
No more fouls to give if you're the team in blue. Shell Plouffe shoots it for two, back iron. She hasn't had too many looks at it. Goes inside to her sister, who's nice post move. Only down by one, and they get a steal. Catherine Plouffe, left hand this time. Yep, tie game. Shell Plouffe didn't get to see exactly what happened. Don't know if she ran into something. Not able to walk on her own. Looks like the medical staff was paying extra attention to her knee. Very emotional. Especially after just an incredible season that she's had the Women's Series this year. Number one player in the world. Now uh, Canada playing and finishing the last 240 with three players. But I know a lot of emotions going on right now as they see their teammate in a lot of pain. We're tied 11-11. Really hate to see that. Hopefully we see a speedy recovery for Michelle Plouffe. And get back to the, the action here. Limousin has it up top over to Guapo, who spins. Shot clock expires. Bosch with the crossover. Catherine Plouffe. No whistles. <laughs> the refs really swallowing our whistles there. But Catherine Plouffe this time, or the last attempt, she did get fouled, so she's going to go to the free throw line.
second one is good. Canada, new leader, up by one point. Guapo for two, short. Hayes Crozon, step back, two pointer. No good. One minute, 50 seconds. France down by one. Limousin back iron. Catherine Plouffe picks up her dribble. Bosch with the handoff. Three seconds left on the shot clock. Bosch shoots the two. No good. Gets her own rebound. Fresh shot clock. Both teams giving a lot of effort. 3.8 on the shot clock. Bosch to inbound. Handoff to Crozon. Little mix up on the defensive end, but she can't finish it. Comes up short. She had a great look at it. Lee Muzon to step through. Not that time. Bosch clears it. Tries to go up against Jekundare. Picks up her dribble, three seconds left. Catherine Plouffe, no. But that one goes in. Two point lead for Canada. Jacundare gonna go to the free throw line. That's only the third foul on Canada, or they're gonna stay on the floor. They're gonna stay on the floor. Michelle Plouffe cheering on her team on the bench as Guapo takes it all the way. One point lead for Canada. Guapo's open for two, gets it to go. France up by one, 23 seconds left. Big time bucket for Guapo. Time out on the floor, everybody, including myself, take a deep breath. Wow, what a turn of events. This is a close one. It all comes down to this. The final seconds is another look at that two point attempt. Guapo was wide open. to inbound 23.1 they go to Catherine Plouffe almost loses the handle three seconds left on the shot clock she goes all the way and draws the foul wow big free throws here Guapo thinks she got all ball let's take another look that was a lot of ball this makes it interesting. First free throws good. Tie ball game. 14-14 with 14.2 seconds left. Makes it the go ahead point for the free throw. Limousin has it. Layup is good. We're tied at 15. Five seconds left. Catherine Plute. Finds Crozon inside, she puts it up and gets it at the buzzer! Canada wins! Oh my gosh! Michelle Plouffe goes down, Canada still pulls it out, Crozon at the buzzer over Limousin. Puts it up and in, no more time remaining, and Canada's storied 
Women's Series season ends fittingly this way. They won five stops throughout the season, and now they win by one point over France. 